In this video, we're going to be using Loom Fusion and Procreate to do a cool retro typewriter text effect like this. So here we are in Procreate, and the first thing we want to do is go up to the top right to the colour, select a bright green colour, and then we want to drag that onto our background to make the whole thing green. Next, we want to choose white and then we want to go up to the wrench icon in the top left. We want to tap add and select add text. We'll just type in text. And now we want to choose a nice typewriter looking font. Go with American typewriter, clues in the title. Stretch that out to make it bigger. Okay, once we're happy with that, we're going to go back up to the wrench icon. We're going to choose Share. We'll export it as a PNG file. And if we scroll down to the bottom there, we can share to LumaFusion. And that'll go straight into our imports folder in LumaFusion. Okay, in LumaFusion, we're going to start off with this rather cinematic looking clip of this park in Paris. So that can be our background. So let's go to the top left, choose imports and drag in that green screen text that we just created put it over the top of our background clip and then we're going to double tap it to go into edit we're going to go to color and effects the key icon and choose green screen key to key out all that green and now we're going to highlight that that green screen clip we're going to go down to the clipboard and we're going to choose copy then we're going to double tap on that copy, go down to frame and fit, choose cropping, and then just slide it across until we just get the first T. I'm going to do the same thing again, copy, paste, Double tap, frame and fit, cropping, and this time we're going to select the E. So we're just going to repeat that process for each letter. Once we're done, we can get rid of the original one. And to make those letters come in one at a time, we need to stack them on top of one another like this. So as you can see, they all come in at the same time at the moment, so we need to move them along. Like this. And obviously, if you've got music playing, you can sync this up to the music as well. So the end result looks like this. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this about video editing, mobile filmmaking and all that cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.